All right, hey guys, um, Corey, Martin, the rest. Um, I have a question and an observation that I wanted to share with you guys, and I just wanted your feedback on it. Um, after everything that has uh, happened with Donald Trump and stuff, I just started thinking about um, what that means for minorities, and I was wondering if any of you guys were concerned about that, like um, if you read between the lines and observe and observe history, you will notice that Donald Trump has a lot of uh, tyrant-ish ways about him. Um, there are so many different parallels between him and Adolf Hitler. I mean, not for nothing, I'm not trying to, you know, step on anybody's toes if people supported him or whatever. I mean, that's on you. But I have a question. If anything were to go down, as far as the civil rights or the constitutional rights of people of color, people of different religious backgrounds, do you think the mainstream mainstream America would come to those people's rescue? And the reason why I bring that up is because every time I speak to people that are not of a minority group and I bring this up, whether, oh, they're gonna reinstate slavery or, oh, they're gonna, you know, start the Holocaust again and where my black ass gonna get sent to a concentration camp. They always look at me like I'm crazy. They're like, oh no, <laughs> we would never have that happen. Well, I'm not really uh, convinced because I feel like push come to shove, people are going to uh, go with the masses to save their own asses. And I remember a little when I was a little girl, I saw this, um, the show, I think it was on HBO or something called Cosmic Slope. I wonder if you've ever seen it before. And there was an episode up there called The Space Traders. And that episode is about like a future where aliens come and invade and they ask for people with a certain percentage of melanin in their skin, which ends up being ding, 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 black people. And nobody fights for the black people. They just like, yeah, sure, give them up, bye, get out of here. Because the aliens, of course, they promise, you know, the world, oh, we'll give you, you know, all these resources and stuff like that. And when I saw that, I thought to myself, yeah, see, mm -hmm. I can see that happening in real life. I'm going to share a clip with you guys if you've never seen it before. But get back to me. Let me know what you think about that and stay toasty. Hello. Is this on? Can you understand me? I'm the vice president of... Well, we are space traders bearing exquisite gifts that will restore your nation to its former glory. Nearly limitless quantities of gold and precious metals that will instantly erase your deficit. Machines that will renew your rivers and your air. Cold fusion technology for a safe, cheap, and inexhaustible source of energy. All we ask in return is the delivery to our vessels. Five days from now, every child, woman, and man in your nation with at least 2,500 milligrams of melanin in their skin per square centimeter. What the hell is melanin? Put more simply, in trade for solving all your most pressing domestic catastrophes, we are asking for every person in your country that you would classify as black. Are you kidding? <laughs> no, we are not. What are you gonna do with them? Well, that does not concern you. We give you five days to decide, and the offer is non-negotiable. We will not try to coerce you in any way. Yet, I hope we can do some business together. Well, today is the day of reckoning for 20 million Americans of African descent. Voting will begin in just a few seconds from now. As you know, two telephone numbers will appear on your screen, one in favor and one against the space traders offer. After dialing the number of your choice, simply key in your personal security code. Here, ladies and gentlemen, are the two numbers. The polls will remain open for the next three hours, but we should be able to project a decision very shortly. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, with just 6% of the vote tallied, we project... that the referendum will pass by a comfortable margin. Collection centers will be set up tomorrow morning by the National Guard. The aliens say that the aliens say they will allow only one piece of carry-on luggage per person. This is Bernard Shields. Goodbye.